Hello, colleagues. Greetings. I hope you're doing well. Happy Monday to you as we start the new week off. Thought I'd share with you a few things as I've been customarily doing now and then offer a few observations about a few other things that you'll be seeing coming down the pikeway. So let me just talk about this week. Um, I had a phenomenal week uh, last week as I did several different things. One, I had my continuous presidential boot camp, and this week focused on HR and also our phenomenal work around our data dashboard. Um, I am becoming quickly uh, a data geek, as one of my friends often says. So I, I encourage you to spend time, and if you haven't, really using that robust tool to help manipulate uh, your understanding of what we have uh, produced in terms of our students and who our students are and all the outcomes. Very powerful and, and thank you to the team for that work there. Uh, I have continued uh, work on our organizational climate study uh, survey and being very deliberate about uh, some next steps in that space. Learned a lot about our marketing and events and advertising space and what the work is uh, taking place in that area. And then, of course, met with several members of my leadership team, including uh, the executive team in our weekly meeting. Very great way to end my week. I had an interview uh, with Jacob Solis, Jacob Solis for the Nevada Independent. That was quite exciting. As I was telling some people, I was kind of fangirling uh, because I spent so much time reading his work and reading that in Nevada. Uh, independent as a part of my prep and coming to the state so that was quite fun and then the highlight of the week probably had to be a tour that I did of Southern Nevada we're going to be scheduling a few more of these but it was a unique opportunity for me to actually leave our campus and go into the spaces and meet with key partners and uh, potential collaborators on various things across the, the region uh, we had 10 stops and we uh, met with the water district the mayor of Las Vegas also the mayor of uh, City of North Las Vegas, East Las Vegas Library, the Doolittle Community Center, the Mob Museum, had lunch at Grits Cafe, woohoo! Uh, Nevada Partners, our wonderful friends at the Urban Chamber, the Doolittle Community Center. It was just amazing. And uh, again, I also have to call out our wonderful friends at um, in Henderson, where we also were at the Lifeguard Arena. Just an outstanding opportunity to really get to understand uh, Nevada State College's community and the community we have the privilege of serving. Um, with that aside, there are some campus issues we continue to monitor. Uh, employee vaccination policy. Uh, we had robust sets of meetings this week to invite participation and feedback into that draft policy that the chancellor has been charged to produce and prepare by the Board of Regents. Uh, the Board of Regents will be meeting this week to review that and to take action uh, on what they think is best in terms of our system, so keep an eye on that. Last I heard, we were about 81% of um, our employees are vaccinated, leading the cause, second only to UNR. So I'm gonna say those of you who've been holding out and you feel that you feel compelled and feel comfortable with the science and feel compelled uh, to help us, if you don't wanna do it for health reasons, let's just do it so we can be UNR. How about that? Uh, secondly, we're also starting robust conversations about the spring semester, about what type of delivery modes we should be having, the types of courses, and I have charged our folks who are leading that over in academic affairs to be very thoughtful about how we're going to reimagine and engage in direct conversations uh, with our schools so that we're able to really deliver a schedule uh, that puts the primacy back in on the student and because hopefully we'll be in a healthy environment but also allows us to make sure that we're fulfilling our mission in very thoughtful ways. Uh, you'll also be seeing a major communication come from me this week on the salary study. I'm hopeful that you will take the time to read it. Uh, the version I have right now is about four pages. I do these milestone memos every once in a while, but it's important for me that you understand my thought process, not just the fact that here's the decision, but how and why that decision was made and also what will be the next steps with that. So I look forward to receiving uh, your feedback. A couple observations I'll um, uh, make, and as I walk around the campus more and get to know uh, each of us, uh, get to know members of the college community more intimately, um, I'm really continuing to see that our employees are the ones who really allow us to actualize our mission. Uh, it is not um, the president who uh, is Nevada State College that actualizes a mission. Uh, is all of us in these various roles that we play. And for me, that means a lot. And I, I really want to you know, just be grateful 
uh, that we live and work in such a robust, uh, innovative and dynamic community. Uh, you all really are exceptional. And more and more as the onion peel and I get to mow into the different layers and the highways and byways of the organization, just very grateful uh, for each of you. My ask of you, uh, there's several I'm gonna make of you this week and I'm hopeful that you will rise up and uh, be a part of what I'm asking to do. One is take more time to explore Southern Las Vegas and Southern uh, Nevada. I, I obviously I'm new to the area that's every day is a new adventure for me. I make a wrong turn and I end up someplace else. Uh, but I'm hopeful that you will do that. We have so many treasures in our community uh, and potential opportunities for collaboration and co-conspirators who want to help us amplify our mission and watch us do the work. So hopefully you will choose to be actively engaged with that. I'd ask you, I'm going to be having a series of listen and learns within our various schools this week. I ask that you would participate in those. I believe they may almost be full because we want to keep those intimate, but we'll be scheduling more. Very important to me. I wanted to wait till we got the semester started. And here's a way for us now to really get together and for me to hear uh, your perspectives about the institution. I hope that you will choose to join us in the grand opening of the Christensen Education Building this week. Great opportunity to share what we do so well here at Nevada State College, and that is to provide exemplary education uh, to students and careers and fields that are needed for our time. And this building is representative of that. And also a donor who believes so deeply in this institution to make that building possible. I want to thank the Christiansons for their, their support of us. And finally, my last ask is that if you hadn't planned to attend, that you will continue uh, to think about attending the Southern Nevada Diversity Summit that we're uh, co-hosting on behalf of uh, INCHI. I think it's going to be a phenomenal opportunity to continue to delve into those topics uh, that are particularly important to us here at Nevada State College. So with a grateful spirit, let me say I want to thank uh, Charles and our wonderful recruitment team for inviting me down on Friday to come and meet with our counselors of the area and who they've come on campus, about 70 of them, to learn more about Nevada State College so they can go out into the highways and byways of this region and talk more about this pretty bold and beautiful place that we have and want to be a part of that and hopefully get those students thinking about it. And then finally, uh, I just think I'm just blessed and so fortunate to continue to get to know this valley and to learn the people and learn the culture and learn what we do. Uh, I'm falling in love each and every day. Uh, I will be back next week with you. I'm probably gonna be a little weary. We actually are gonna be moving into our home on Thursday. So if you see me walking a little slow by the end of the week or sitting still a little bit more, you'll know why, because it has been a process. But all in all, uh, thank you, Nevada State. We are Scorpions. We are proud, we are bold, and we are great. Have a great week. See you soon.